Welcome to Peter Moore's video blog. My name is Nate Lundy along with the president of EA Sports, Peter Moore. And over the last few weeks, we've been gathering some questions from the community, things you would like to be able to ask Peter Moore straight up. Very popular questions in the blogs and in the forums as well. And Peter, the first question that I've got for you, when you're on the internet, other than the easports.com site, of course, where are you when you're on the net? What are you surfing and what are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. My, my homepage that immediately boots up is CNN.com. Then I will usually go to ESPN.com. Uh, Soccernet.com is important to me as well. Um, I do actually then go immediately to gaming sites. Uh, Eurogamer, GameIndustry.biz, uh, CVG, uh, IGN, Game Daily, um, GameSpot, all of the places that, that I know. And I probably have already left somebody out and is, that is offended. But uh, in, my, in my bookmark favorites, I probably have 15 gaming websites. And then I do, um, I do a lot of Google searches, things that interest me, what's going on in the industry um, that I can't necessarily find on a particular site, Kotaku, Joystick, Engadget, other sites, well, they're a member in Bookmarked. Um, I will go there. But I, I think my, my world is basic core news, sports, gaming. And there's probably 35 to 40 sites that I will visit. Um, of course, not at work in my own time, but um, that I will visit uh, when I go home at night. So when you're on the gaming sites, what particularly are you looking for when you're there? It's pretty simple with me. I look at a story headline that catches me that I want to know more about as somebody in the industry and somebody who plays games. My immediate thing is to glance the copy, but then get right into the comments. Um, because uh, you know the, the great thing about forums and threads is that you can really get a pulse on what people are thinking within four or five minutes of reading that commentary. Um, so I typically don't just read, I go to sites where there is comments that can be posted. So I figure out what people's reactions to it. Um, and um, I also, and it's less about what we're doing at EA, it's more about either what our competition is doing or what the industry is doing in, in general. So um, stories that we have a very vibrant industry and stories crop up every single day. And, and I'll make sure that I deep read, which means going into the thread, at least five or six um, uh, of those stories every single day. All right, Peter, some questions from the community, if you don't mind. We've been talking about taking questions from the forums, from your blog comments as well. So we've got some questions for you from the community. This one from Extreme Gamer on WhoNeedsRules.com. Great domain name, by the way. Will we see more events-based downloadable content from EA Sports? And for example, the March Madness edition of NCAA Basketball 09. Will we see something perhaps like a Super Bowl edition for Madden NFL? It is a great question. Um, you know, of course, I think as everybody knows, for the first time we have a, a download that allows you to play um, uh, the, the final 64 in the NCAA basketball bracket. You know, the teams are going to be announced in the next few days. Uh, and then, of course, you'll be able to immediately download the teams. It's an interesting experiment in enhancing the experience that is a game, bringing it to life when a major sports event kicks in. And when we look at the rhythm and cadence of sports, whether it's buying Madden, but boy, does it get exciting when the playoffs start and then culminating in the Super Bowl. Or buying FIFA, but, but boy, when, when, when you get close to the end of the Premier League or Serie A or La Liga, people start to play even more. Is how we can do things that refresh the game, refresh the experience, bring it to life again for consumers. Uh, and hopefully, I guess, you know, encourage them to maybe bring it out of their cupboard and put it back in the drive uh, because we're doing things online that really make it feel fresh again. So experiment yet to you know obviously see the results of this is uh, we're yet to get to the big dance but um, we'll be looking back uh, three four weeks from now and seeing how this worked and uh, uh, believe you and me if we think it's it's adding value to our consumers it's quite frankly as well something that the teams think is worth their while and, and is driving revenue for the company then you can bet we're going to look at other sports and see what we can do of a similar ilk all right this one from maddenplanet.com and it's from andy who says do you consider the lineup of all play sports games that were released on the Wii last year a success? And if so, is there an extension of that now going forward? The Wii continues to be an evolving platform for us. And by that, I mean we're learning every year. I mean, it's only two, maybe three years ago that we were actually not even developing directly and specifically for the Wii. All of that has changed. 
Um, I think it's a mixed bag. Uh, I think we've learned a lot. I think the lineup we've got this year, when you include tennis on top of that, and EA Sports Active on the Wii, both specific to the Wii experience, on top of our normal franchises, I think that is going to be uh, a watershed moment for us on the Wii platform. I think we're really starting to get a hang of, of how to bring sports to life, particularly with the authentic sports motion we're now delivering with the Wii Motion Plus, in particular with Tiger and with Grand Slam Tennis. Um, so lots of interesting, exciting, and innovative, and brand new and unique stuff this year on the Wii, on top of how we continue to enhance our core gameplay on that platform. Peter, as always, thank you for the time. We'll be talking with you again soon. Yeah, my pleasure. I, you know, I really enjoy uh, you know, being involved with the community and my blog in a small way. Uh, but again, I want to thank everybody for their questions. I know at times they get frustrated with what we do. I know at times there's a great deal of interest in, in announcement being made. But keep the questions coming. Um, you know, keep the criticisms coming because we learn by that. And believe me, uh, we listen, we look, we learn. And that's what we do. Um, and that's the only way we'll make our games better. So. Thank you to everybody that uh, does get involved in the blog, and thank you for your support of EA Sports.